The Art of Brewing Roundtable will take place this weekend. It's open to the public. It's a rare opportunity for fans of craft beer to get to meet and talk and question and drink with the local brewers. So here with the preview, we have Andy Klein with the Monk Cellar and Brian Ford with the Auburn Ale House. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having and us. And you look like you brought great examples. We brought some great beer. Of all the great beer that we have in this area. Yeah, we did. We brought some beer that we're going to be pairing with uh, some fall flavors. And uh, we're going to be bringing for the event the uh, Black IPA, the Grave Digger, which is aptly named for this time of year. Beer, huh? It's a it's a nice beer, very ro it stops just shy of roastiness, so it's nice chocolate. It's got a really nice um, hop flavor on the finish, so a little mm -hmm. citrus on the finish pairs well with squash, you know, butternut squash or. Uh, Stu. And then something obviously visually big contrast over there. Yeah, on this side we have our uh, uh, Gold Country Pilsner. It's a pre prohibition style Pilsner. And again, a nice citrus, clean flavor. It goes with a lot of, uh, I think it goes great with Halloween candy myself. <laughs> <laughs> You've clearly yes, done a little bit. Yes, I've done some research on that, yeah. How much fun is it now to be able to really kind of talk shop with just the average person out there? Because we have a really sophisticated beer. Sort of look at, I was going to say beer population, but like, you know, connoisseurs. beer connoisseurs in this yes, area yes. now. It's amazing. I mean, as, as far as beer has come in the last 10, 15 years, uh, people are really well informed. It's great to have conversations with people about the beer. They're so excited about it. There's so much diversity with the beer, and people are just, it's great. Yeah. Are you seeing more women coming out to these events too? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. There's a, a lot of women are primarily the beer buyers in the marketplace, so they, that's interesting. And they have great palates too. My wife's palate is ten times better than mine. Re so, do you yeah. tell her that? I do. You do. Okay, I just good. did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I also get an idea yeah. for it too. Yeah, but yeah, we see a lot of lot of uh, diversity in the in the market. I love these big jugs. It reminds me of like a big bottle of moonshine. Yeah, yeah, they're growlers. Is growlers. That um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think it fits the image of beer. Um, it's 64 ounces, so it's a half gallon. You can you can get at the restaurant, uh, both restaurants mm -hmm. and uh, breweries, and take it with you. Yeah. It's it interesting home. when you look now, um, just locally, at how many different craft beers we have. There's just such an explosion where there used to be such a shortage. Mm -hmm, Do you guys mm -hmm. worry about the market getting too saturated that people? Um, it gets so watered down, literally, that yeah. you you don't get the still the same quality. I, I think I think you hit the nail on the head. As long as you're making producing good craft beer, quality beer, you're going to be fine, and there's plenty of room. Okay. If, What's yeah. the the craziest question somebody's asked you here locally, either one of you, about beer or craft beer? Boy, that's a tough one. Um, I guess we get all the time people come into a restaurant asking for Coors Light or Bud Light, so that's kind of kind of funny. Really, kind of <laughs> what, what is your standard what response doing. when somebody says that? Um, we give them a glass of water. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. All right. Well, the event is coming up. It is the Art of Brewing, and it's coming up on October 25th from 4 to 6 p.m. at Monk's Cellar. Obviously, you'd need to be 21 years old. And the money, the proceeds, will be funding art scholarships for kids through Blue Line Arts. So you can get tickets at Fork and Road Production. Com, and then also, and I think this is a first, we've got a KCRA beer discount to let you know yes. about. If you use the promo code KCRA, you will get a discount going into the event. Well, good luck. Thank you. Sounds Thank like you. a lot of fun. I'm sure you'll get a huge turnout. Yes, it'll be fun.